going to have a little experiment with the oil pump and the oil feed into this turbo charger. That's the oil feed into the turbo. The oil, as well as lubricating the bearings, also helps to cool it because this bit here runs like a dull red colour normally. It runs very hot indeed. I have bought an oil pump and I'm pretty sure I'll do the job. It's got quite a good spec on it, so what it does do, it does two bar pressure. Now I don't know if that means it does two bar and then it's got a built-in pressure relief valve or if I need to put a relief valve in or it'll just pump two bar, I don't know. So I'm going to put some paintwork on here just to give it a try and see what sort of fluor it will get. I've got boxes and boxes of fittings and obviously none of them fit anything but I'm sure I'll be able to, to manage. That's the original fitting off the turbocharger, a banjo type fitting. The banjo bolts called a banjo fitting for obvious reasons. So that's going to go into there and get the oil into the turbo. This is plastic oil pressure rated pours. I'm just going to use this to test with when it's done for real, it'll be all hard piped because you don't want rubber hoses near glue and red hot turbocharger housings. But it'll certainly do to do some tests with on the bench. So we need to go from the pump into there. We need a T piece in here with a pressure gauge in. That's the, the gauge I'm going to use. I'm going to make the little adapter fitting for it a while ago. Quite a nice gauge. Goes up to 30 psi, which should be. Like I've got another one that goes up to 60. That was going to be the one for the boost, and I'll use the other one. It's got a, a slightly higher range on. Right, so we need to put a T piece in here. I've got that one, and I've got some pipe fittings, quarter BSP to with tails on that I can use. And I've got a little adapter that'll go from quarter BSP to eighth. So I can put the gauge in, so we'll cobble some bits together and see how we get on. Right, that's the gauge I'm going to use for the oil pressure, which goes up to 60. So we want to be running the tow bar, which is roughly 30. And the other one's for the boost pressure. Right, the first thing is the adapter that goes from quarter BSP down to eighth for the pressure gauge. Normally you would put tape on these joints, but they're just sort of temporary. It's not going to be anything special, so it's just if a little leak will not bother us. And that's the quick release fitting for the pressure gauge. You need the pressure gauge as near to the turbocharger as you possibly can. So you do get a true reading, you don't want it miles away. There'll also be a filter in the system as well. Right, then we need to go quarter BSP into there. Two of them. Not quite, you see. Notice I'm using a, a spanner this time instead of the adjustables. I've got thousands of pounds of spanners at work and I still use adjustables at home. Never mind. Right. So we need a short piece of this under there. So the gauge is right next to the turbocharger inlet. Got some proper high pressure clips instead of just ordinary hose clips. Right, so that goes into there. And these crimp. On like that. Trouble with these is you can't use them again, but they're really secure. Solid hold. Right. So from that we go into there. And 
I need another one. That goes into there. There, and one more that goes from the oil pump into the end of there. I'll leave the holes at length, I don't want to shorten it and waste it. Bastard. The pump has three eighth fittings on and I've got a three eighth quarter adapter there. Don't you wash, I should seal that quite nicely on there. Right. So that's out of the pump into the, the pipe work we've just made. Then we need to go into the pump and for that, I made up a piece of just plastic garden hose with a little fitting on it that you supply. It's going to get a bit messy in a minute with oil pissing everywhere, but I'm sure we'll enjoy it. Put a clip on there just to make it look the part. Right. right so the oil feed into the turbo charger. I'll probably make a plate, a flange plate to go on there with an adapter on it. Right, and that's the connection for the, the pressure gauge into there. I've got a tray to catch the oil in that comes out of the, the turbo charger. That'll be a proper tank obviously when it's done for real. So that should sort that out. We need some oil and a 12 volt power supply, then we should be good to go. Got some nice thin oil, some 020. Yeah, this this will get messy. I know it will. Right, I've got a 12 volt supply here onto the pump, so we'll power up and see what happens. Pump's running, starting to lift oil. Right, and that's obviously no use at all. If you see the pressure gauge, it just goes round the clock, which is useless that's just going to burst something so i need to put the pressure relief valve in the system i thought that might be the case yeah that's that's no good at all right so we need to make a pressure relief valve as well which is not a problem i'm going to take this off here and run the pump and just see what sort of flow rate we'll get it should be pretty impressive Let's 
see what it actually does. It should uh, move quite a bit of oil, which it does. That's more than enough to run a turbocharger quite safely. So the pump's certainly a success as far as pumping oil goes. All we need to do now is make a little pressure relief valve, which is not a difficult thing to do. I'll probably make the valve adjustable so I can adjust it. And the pump will lift a head of oil from one metre. It's going to be gravity fed when it's on its proper application, but that's excellent. I'm happy with that. I've actually got a restriction. The restriction in the line is given we're reading of 20 psi. So that's. I'm happy with that. Very happy. Run it dry. It says it can run the pump dry for a maximum of 20 minutes. And I don't think it's a good idea running it dry for that long. Right. So there's a little bit more that we've found out. We know, we know the pump's going to do the job. It's not quite as messy as I thought, but it's fairly messy.